Hi and welcome to Physio Tutors. My name is Kai and today I would like to show you the Cluster of Wehner. The Cluster of Wehner is a test battery designed to assess for cervical radiculopathy. Just be aware of the fact that in practice we as physios are not allowed to make a medical diagnosis so we will basically use these tests to exclude a cervical radiculopathy. The first test of the cluster of Wehner is the ULTTA, which we have shown you in an earlier video already. This test is the main test to exclude a radiculopathy with a really high sensitivity of 97% and a specificity of 22%. The ULTTA mainly puts stress on the brachial plexus and a median nerve. What you first have to do is depress the patient's shoulder, bring it to 110 degrees of abduction, supinate and extend the wrist and then slowly extend the elbow. If this is not provocative already, ask the patient to lateral flex to the contralateral side. Okay. In order for this test to be positive, compare both sides and look for differences. So if there's a reduction in the extension of the elbow, for example, then this would be a positive test on the side with the reduced mobility. In the second test, you are assessing active range of motion of the cervical spine. Ask your patient to rotate to the affected side. And what you are looking for is an active range of motion of less than 60 degrees for this test to be positive. In a completely free cervical spine, you would expect at least range of motion of 80 degrees. The third test is a so-called distraction test. In this test, you are performing an A-specific distraction and you are looking to ease the symptoms of the patient, which are usually radiating pain along the arm combined with central neck pain. The distraction test is a really specific test with a specificity of 90% and a sensitivity of 44%. The fourth test of the cluster of Wehner is the Sperling test A. For this test, ask your patient to do a lateral flexion to the affected side in order to close the foramen intervertebrale and then add a compression of about 14 kilos. What you are looking for is a reproduction of the patient's symptoms which are usually radiating pain from the neck down the arm into the fingers. Like the distraction test, the Sperling's test has a really high specificity of 86% and a low sensitivity of 50%. So it is also used to include a cervical radiculopathy. Three out of four positive tests in the cluster of Wehner raise the post-test probability for a cervical radiculopathy to 65%. With four tests positive, this chance is even as high as 90%. However, if your ULTTA is already negative, the post-test probability for a cervical radiculopathy is as little as 3%. Alright guys, this was the cluster of Wehner. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did so, give it a like, share it, subscribe to our channel. And from the both of us, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And see you in 2015. Bye bye. See ya. Nice.